In 2025, finding a budget GPU that still delivers solid 1080p gaming isn't easy, especially with used prices all over the place. On one side, you've got the RX 580, a legendary budget card that's been powering builds for years, now selling for dirt cheap. On the other side, there's the GTX 1070, once a high-end beast, now dropping into that $100 sweet spot on the used market. But which one gives you better performance, more value, and fewer headaches in 2025? In this video, we're comparing everything that matters. Real gaming performance, power usage, driver support, features, and used pricing. So by the end, you'll know exactly which card is the smarter choice for your next budget build. Let's start with the basics. What's actually inside these two GPUs and how do they compare on paper? The RX 588GB was released back in 2017, built on AMD's older Polaris architecture using a 14 nanometer process. It features 2,304 stream processors, 8GB of GDDR5 memory, and runs on a PCIe 3.0 interface. In terms of power, it draws around 185 watts, though in real world gaming, it can pull even more. Now jump over to the GTX 1070, released a year earlier in 2016, based on NVIDIA's Pascal architecture, which is known for its efficiency. It also comes with 8GB of GDDR5, but only 1920 CUDA cores. That might sound like less, but don't let the numbers fool you. NVIDIA's architecture handles workloads differently and in many cases more efficiently. The 1070 uses less power, rated at around 150 watts, and typically runs cooler and quieter. So while both cards offer 8GB of VRAM and support modern APIs like DirectX 12, the GTX 1070 has the edge in efficiency, and often in performance too, but we'll get to that in the benchmarks. Now let's talk about what really matters, actual gaming performance. Starting with a heavy hitter, in Cyberpunk 2077, the RX 580 manages around 30 to 35 FPS on low settings. It's playable, but barely. The GTX 1070, on the other hand, pushes a much smoother 45 to 50 FPS on medium settings. Not great by today's standards, but definitely more comfortable than the 580. In Apex Legends, things get more interesting. The RX 580 pulls off around 70 to 80 FPS on medium, while the GTX 1070 jumps ahead with 90 to 110 frames per second, offering smoother gameplay and better 1% lows, especially noticeable during fast-paced fights. Fortnite is a win for both cards, but again, the 1070 comes out ahead. You'll see the RX 580 hover around 90 to 100 FPS, while the GTX 1070 flies past 130 FPS, even on high settings. In Hogwarts Legacy, the RX 580 really starts to struggle dropping into the low 30s with frequent stutter on medium. The GTX 1070 stays more consistent in the 50 to 55 FPS range and feels noticeably smoother in open world scenes. For games like CS2 or Valorant, both GPUs are overkill at 1080p. Even so, the 1070 holds tighter frame pacing and higher average FPS, around 250 plus FPS compared to 200 plus on the RX 580, which matters for high refresh monitors. So, what's the takeaway? Across the board, the GTX 1070 outperforms the RX 580 by around 25 to 40% depending on the game. It's not just about the averages, the 1% lows are consistently better, and that leads to smoother, more stable gameplay. Now, performance is one thing, but what about the power draw and heat these cards produce? Let's start with the RX 580. It has a rated TDP of 185 watts, but in real-world gaming, it can pull over 200 watts, especially under heavy load. That means you'll need at least a 500 to 550 watt power supply, and in smaller cases, it tends to run hot, often pushing the fans to full speed just to keep things under control. The GTX 1070, on the other hand, is a bit more efficient. It's rated at around 150 watts, and most models stick close to that even during long sessions. It produces less heat, runs quieter, and gives you a bit more flexibility if you're working with an older or lower wattage power supply. In terms of cooling, the GTX 1070 also tends to have better third-party designs. Many of them came with dual or even triple fan coolers, while some RX 580 models cut corners with smaller heat sinks and single fan designs. So if you're building in a compact case or you just want a quieter, cooler gaming experience, the GTX 1070 clearly takes the lead here. Let's talk about something that doesn't always show up in benchmarks. 
driver support, and extra features. The RX 580, despite being nearly 8 years old, is still getting driver updates from AMD. But let's be real, we're nearing the end of that road. It's unlikely to see any major optimizations or support for newer features moving forward. The GTX 1070 is only a year older, but thanks to NVIDIA's track record, it continues to get solid driver support, especially for big game launches. Plus, it has something the RX 580 doesn't. NVENC, NVIDIA's hardware video encoder. That's a big deal if you're into streaming, video capture, or editing gameplay, because NVENC offloads video encoding from your CPU, making things smoother and more efficient. Neither card supports the very latest tech like AV1 decoding or FSR3, but in terms of software stability and utility, the GTX 1070 has the upper hand. Now, let's talk about the part that usually makes or breaks a budget GPU decision. Price. As of 2025, the RX 588GB is one of the cheapest usable GPUs you can find. On the used market, it typically goes for around $50 to $70, sometimes even lower if you're patient or shopping locally. The GTX 1078GB, on the other hand, still holds a bit more value. You'll usually see it priced between $90 and $110 depending on condition, brand, and the cooler design. That's about 30 to 50% more than the RX 580. But here's the thing, with both cards being this old, condition really matters. Some RX 580s might have been used for mining, which means more wear and tear. Meanwhile, many GTX 1070s came from higher-end builds and were better cooled, so they tend to age a bit more gracefully. So while the RX 580 wins on pure price, the GTX 1070 might actually give you more value per dollar when you factor in performance, efficiency, and lifespan. So, which card should you actually choose? The RX 580 is still a solid entry-level card in 2025 if you are on a tight budget and mainly playing lighter games. It gets you in the door for cheap, but with some compromises. The GTX 1070, while a bit more expensive, delivers noticeably better performance, runs cooler and offers longer-lasting value, especially if you're gaming on higher settings or care about efficiency. Both of these GPUs have had their time in the spotlight, but in 2025, the GTX 1070 is the stronger overall choice if you can stretch your budget just a bit further. Thanks for watching. Let me know which one you'd pick and what GPU battle you want to see next.